Over the last 25 years, I've had the privilege of interviewing and highlighting some truly interesting people. Everyone who is anyone, both the famous and the infamous, from presidents and their first ladies to kings and queens, movie stars and pop stars, captains of industry, heads of state, sports personalities, innovative entrepreneurs, and some pretty fascinating everyday people. Today, I'm proud to introduce you to Lorraine Victor, a neonatal nurse practitioner who says the key to success is to be good at what you do and willing to learn new things that can have a positive impact on other people's lives. Lorraine, this is such a pleasure to talk with you today. Very nice to speak with you also. Wonderful. So Lorraine, what made you consider a career in healthcare? So I, um, it's, it's kind of just this weird little kid's story, but um, I am told by my family that I started talking about being a nurse when I was three years old. We had nobody in my family who was in nursing, nobody in my family who had ever gone to college, um, but they kind of jumped in and every Christmas I would get, you know, these little um, play medical packets and stethoscopes and things like that. Um, and so it, it was just meant to be. And I, I personally look at it as a, as a calling mm -hmm. for me. I've learned recently that that it wasn't the case for all of my peers, but um, for me, it definitely was that. Oh, I certainly agree. I'm a heart disease survivor and um, I had open heart surgery just over oh 10 years ago. And my nurses in the cardiac ICU really were my lifesavers. If I had to uh, tell you how I feel about nurses, I believe that nurses are the heart of healthcare. And so um, I'm privileged to be able to say thank you to the nurses who have served our community so well. I'm just curious, how does being a neonatal nurse practitioner differ from being a traditional nurse practitioner? So um, many nurse practitioners work on the outside in clinics mm -hmm. and the neonatal nurse practitioner is um, in the newborn intensive care unit. And so we work as a team with neonatologists who are physicians who are specially trained to take care of small babies. Many of us, and what I do in my position is we medically manage those babies um, while when the neonatologists are not there or um, if, if they're off doing other things. So what that means then is we not only do a plan for the day for the babies, uh, but we also do things like go to high risk deliveries. Mm -hmm. We put breathing tubes in, we put chest tubes in, we put IVs in, but, I, and those are, you know, those, that's kind of the exciting part of the, of the job is to do all that. Um, but what we really do, which I think is so, so important is that we develop relationships with families and babies. So the patient's, our patients are not just the babies. Our patients are the entire family, whoever the family decides that's going to be. That sounds so wonderful. And, and, and I heard you say something about doing some work in the ICU. So I know you have to spend some time there. Can you tell us a little about the experience of being in that stressful environment and actually treating babies and children with such urgent health needs? We, um, a part of, part of this is really experience. And m most nurse, neonatal nurse practitioners have been experienced newborn intensive care nurses first. So those, the nurses are watching everything all the time. When we're, when we're in the unit, when we're not off doing all those, uh, you know, other ta uh, tasky kinds of things, we are managing the medications, we are managing the IVs, we are answering questions that the nurses have in caring for their babies. We are starting medications, we are following all the vital signs of the babies. Um, and we're also talking with the families and um, just, just being available to the best of our ability. Um, but Lorraine, <sighs> That has to be emotionally draining at times when you are around babies that can really be um, in need of very urgent care. Yeah, it, it, it can be. I, I come home tired, but I'm old now. So that's probably why I come home tired. 
but we, um, many of us work like 24 hour shifts oh. and, and you come home exhausted after it. But uh, I, even, even when things are not going so well, perhaps for the babies, then our jobs change to some degree to provide what, whatever it is we can. So for instance, if a little baby looks like they are going to pass away, then we change what we're doing to really providing the best death for that baby and for that family that we can do. Um, it is emotionally draining, but you, you come home feeling like you did something important. And I can assure you that you do. Um, I love that you've taken on something of a teaching role within the different hospitals that you've worked. How'd that come about? And tell me what have been the results of those lessons? Oh my goodness. I, um, as, as a, a brand new NICU nurse um, down in Rochester, Minnesota, um, at one year, I've been a nurse for one year and one of my mentors thought that I might be good at going out and talking to other people. I was very passionate about caring for the babies and having other people care for the babies and teaching them how even at that point. So um, my friend Mary um, got me out there and taught me what to, what to do. And um, it, was, it was such a great thing for me and really kind of unusual because I was the kid in the class who never wasted their hand, never, never wanted to say anything to anybody. Um, and now some people say, you can't shut me up. Uh -huh. but, <laughs> but that that role of teaching has followed um, my whole career now. And I, I still go out and teach at other hospitals. Um, I teach nurses and physicians. I also um, teach kind of one and one on one at the bedside, and I really love having brand new nurses in our unit where we can talk about their particular baby and what might be important about their baby, what they should be looking for, and what I'm looking for. All of those things. I know that in any medical field, really any professional field, continuing to learn. Continuous education is absolutely important. How do you ensure that you and your fellow nurses are working with the most up-to-date medical knowledge? So I, uh, my, my house is filled with medical journals. Um, I, I do, I've made it my business to, to keep up on things. Um, people are, nurses in the NICU oftentimes are going to be reading the most recent journals. They are and we are, as nurse practitioners, we, we go to the literature to find research where it's available so that we know that we are giving um, up-to-date care and management to the babies. Um, in a former position that I had as a clinical nurse specialist, I was more in charge of actually doing the research, but now I just kind of reap the, the benefits of what everybody else is doing. Tell me, Lorraine, what do you consider to be the most rewarding part of your work? I, I still have to say, uh, there, there's two things. The teaching, absolutely. Um, that, that's, that's amazing. But still for me, the most important part and the best part of it is really that relationship, um, uh, the development of that relationship with the babies and their families. And um, I always tell people that uh, when you have a baby in the NICU, this is really, for the parents, it's a little blip in their life. Uh -huh. But it's huge because you are now introducing this family and this, these parents to how to parent their baby. And so that is going to last a lifetime. So things that we do now are going to make a huge difference later on. What's the one thing you'd like the viewer of this video feature to walk away with? I, I think that probably the most important thing is, um, especially, especially in the world that we're living in right now, is families still matter, babies still matter. Um, we all are responsible for each other right now probably more than we've ever been in our lives. And so we need to meet people 
equally and try to figure out how to do the best that we can every single day. And that, I, I think that's important for everyone. Um, I could not agree with you more. And I thank you for your service again. Uh, Randy, it's been a pleasure to chat with you today. Um, I think you are an exemplary example of when you're a nurse, you know that every day you're going to touch a life or that a life will touch yours. And um, I've seen it manifested in you today. Thank you so very thank much. You. Thank you.